Hello everyone, it's Grandma Ruth and me time. Spectacles on, and the book on top today is Sherlock Holmes and the Hounds of Baker Street. Written by Doug Peterson. Are you ready? Dogs howl somewhere on this foggy night in London. Did you hear that? Asked Dr. Bob Watson. They say wild dogs roam Baker Street on nights like this, said Sherlock Holmes, the world's greatest detective. Perhaps this isn't a night to be out. Suddenly, a policeman burst through the fog. Sherlock gasped <gasps> and accidentally breathed in on his bubble pipe. Harm quick! shouted Scooter, the Scottish carrot constable. Someone has disappeared at Doily's Pizza Place. Sherlock whispered to Watson. I can't understand his accent. Did you say someone was speared by a doughboy with a pizza face? <laughs> <laughs> Asked Sherlock. Rock. Scooter motioned for the detectives to follow him. How can anyone have a pizza <laughs> face? That's not possible. Well, that's why he said he couldn't understand his accent. <laughs> yeah, he talks British. They wound up at Doily's Pizza Place. Sniffy disappeared right in the middle of a dogs game, said a waitress. Can you help us? Certainly, my good woman. Where was Sniffy last seen? Asked Sherlock. By the dark board. Sherlock shouted. I know what happened to Sniffy. What is it? Asked Watson. His feelings were hurt and he ran away. Wow! Said the waitress. Did you figure all that out by looking at clues, like footprints and smudges on the walls? No, I read this giant note, <laughs> said Sherlock. The note read, You hurt my feelings. I'm leaving. Sign Sniffy. The question is, who hurt Sniffy's feelings? Continued Sherlock. By the end of this night, I will know who that guilty person is. The game was afoot. Sherlock moved through the room. He hunted for clues and loose change with his magnifying glass. He looked at each person one by one. Perhaps it was you, Morty Poppins, he said. You and Sniffy worked together as chimney sweeps. Maybe you hurt his feelings. But, 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 but. Or maybe it was you. Sherlock said, whirling around. He stared at a plump guy named Nomi. You always get mad at Sniffy for using big words. Maybe you hurt his feelings, Nomi. <laughs> for the next 15 minutes, Sherlock put on quite a show. Then came the moment of truth. <laughs> I think I know who hurts Sniffy's feelings, declared the great detective. <gasps> the culprit is none other than... <gasps> the lights went out. After a few terrifying moments, the lights clicked back on. To Sherlock's surprise, a crowd had tumbled into a big pile at the door. I'm to blame for turning out the lights, Ow. said Watson. You did, but why? Asked Sherlock. Elementary, my dear Sherlock. I knew the culprit would try to run under a cloak of darkness, explained Watson. Sherlock stared at all of the people piled in the doorway. But that means all of you hurt Sniffy's feelings. What kind of friends are you? We're not very faithful friends, admitted Nami. 
Sniffy looked very ashamed. It's true. We all hurt Sniffy's feelings today. Oh. Nami explained. Sniffy was competing in the all London darts of championships between doilies and Tower of London's fish and chips. Doilies could have won the game with one good toss of the dart. But right when Sniffy was about to throw, he sneezed. <laughs> the dart missed by a mile. We lost the championship. Well, well, we turned against Sniffy like a pack of wild dogs, confessed Morty Poppins. But faithful friends stick by each other even in bad times, said Sherlock. God says to treat others the way we'd like to be treated. How could we make it up to him? Asked Nami. You can start by finding him, said Watson. Look! Watson pointed to the door. A trail of chimney soot led from the dartboard out the back door. Gazooks! shouted Sherlock. Judging by this trail, Sniffy ran out onto Baker Street. Baker Street, where the wild dogs roam. Oh no. We've got to save them, shouted Nomi. Who's with me? Everyone flew out the door into the fog. In the distance, they could hear dogs howling. Were they too late? Was Sniffy doomed? And then... Hayes over here! shouted Morty. It was almost too terrible to look. The dogs were all over Sniffy. But wait! You're alive! Nami shouted overjoyed. <laughs> These canine companions <laughs> aren't nearly as <laughs> carnivorous <laughs> as we presumed. <laughs> Said Sniffy. There you go with the big words again. Said Nami. But that's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. We're sorry we hurt your feelings, said Morty. Can you ever forgive us? Of course, said Sniffy. You guys risked your lives to come look for me. You are faithful friends. Aw, for the rest of the night. Everyone feasted on cake at doilies, even the dogs. It was truly a special evening. They had learned that faithful friends stick with each other in good times and in bad. A friend loves at all times. He is there to help when trouble comes. Proverbs 1717. What a beautiful story about friendship. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. A great big thank you to Enzi for helping narrate this story as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, kids. Dear time.